in this question we are given a 7 meter high building and a tower the height of the tower is not given and the angle of elevation from the top of building to the top of the tower is 60 degree and angle of depression from the top of the building to the foot of the tower is 45 degree and we are to find the height of the tower so let us understand this situation diagrammatically consider this is as the ground level and the line segment KL represents the building and line segment MN represents the tower. <clears throat> now the angles are measured from this point the top of the building the point K. So we will consider the normal eye level through this point. The normal eye level is horizontal parallel to the ground level. So we can say the line segment KR is parallel to line segment LN. Also KL is perpendicular and RN is perpendicular. Both are perpendicular to the ground level. So KRNL is a parallelogram. Okay, we will consider this point further. So we know that angle of elevation is above the normal eye level. So this is the normal eye level. So angle of elevation from this point to the top of the tower. This is the angle of elevation. It is 60 degree. It is given to us and angle of depression. Angle of depression is also from the normal eye level which is 45 degree. So 45 degree is the angle of depression from the top of the building to the foot of the tower. Usually students do a mistake. They consider angle LKN, this angle as angle of depression. This is a very common mistake. Please take care. The angle of depression is always taken from the normal eye level. Now we have discussed that KRNL is a parallelogram and these two angles are alternate interior angle. So I can say the angle KNL is also 45 degree because KR is parallel to LN so alternate interior angles are equal. Okay now KL and RN both sides are equal they are opposite sides of a parallelogram so they are equal and we know that KL represents the height of building which is 7 meter so the line segment RN will also represent the 7 meter so this portion of the tower RN is 7 meter let us consider the height of the tower is X so we can say that the portion MR is X minus 7. Now you are observing two right angle triangles here. One is MRK and other is KLN. So in triangle KLN we see that if angle of consideration is 45 degree so KL is perpendicular and L N is the base. Let us consider L N as Y. The distance between building and the tower. So we can say 10 of 45 degree is 7 upon Y. Why? 10 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. Here theta is 45 degree, perpendicular is 7 and base is Y. And we know that 1045 is 1. So 7 upon y is 1. So we can say y is equal to 7. 
so we can say distance between the building and the tower is 7 meter okay now consider right angle triangle MRK in MRK same here the side KR is equal to Y so the, we can consider KR as or 7 or 7 meter because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal so here we can say 10 of 60 degree is equal to K x minus 7 sorry x minus 7 upon y 10 60 is square root of 3 x minus 7 y is what y we have found it is 7 so on multiplying 7 root 3 is equal to 7 x minus 7 so you can say x is equal to 7 plus 7 root 3 or further 7 1 plus root 3 so height of the tower is this 7 whole multiplied by 1 plus root 3 meter or 7 plus 7 root 3 meter